temperature and salinity are fundamental physical properties of seawater. We call them conservative properties. They don't have any sources or sinks in the ocean interior. Okay, they can only change through mixing with ambient water. Okay, so they can't just decrease salinity. Salt, the salt content doesn't disappear in the ocean just like that. Okay, temperature. So temperature is the internal energy of a substance. Okay, temperature is is to do with energy. The temperature spatially ranges from minus two to 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, minus two, it's, it's uh, approximately that's the, the freezing temperature of, of salty water. Okay, that's when ice starts to form in, in seawater. The salinity is the salt concentration in seawater. So what it is, it means you take one kilogram of seawater and you determine how many grams of salt are in that sample. Okay, so units. Nowadays we don't use units anymore. It's an international agreement, but it's what we the numbers that we get is very similar to grams per kilogram, which is the same as grams per liter. The typical range in the open ocean is salinity is around 35 plus minus 2. Okay, that's a very typical typical range, very small range, and you need a you wouldn't taste the difference. It's all salty, you wouldn't taste the difference, but the range the, the differences are very small. You need very accurate instruments to measure salinity. So now another property is so called the seawater density. Okay, and the density is simply the weight of one cubic meter of water, of seawater. So you have a box. You see the box here. It's just you go to IKEA, buy something in order to get a box one by one by one meter. It's a one cubic meter box. What's the weight of it? Okay. And this is what we call seawater density. The unit is kilograms per cubic meter. Okay. The typical density is 1027 plus minus 2 kilograms per cubic meter. We often use, oceanographers are lazy, they use a unit called sigma t, which is defined as the true density minus 1000. So often in maps you see numbers like 27 and not no units or so. What it means is a density of 1027 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, so now the density of water, how heavy water is, depends on the salinity and the temperature. Okay, that determines what the weight is of a unit volume. In addition to that, pressure changes the density. So if you move water from a thousand meters to four thousand meters, the increased pressure compresses the water and increases the density. So pressure has an influence as well. 